That's where we begin spotlighting drug abuse in the region. Good evening. I'm Stephanie Gorin. And I'm George Mallet. Tonight, National Geographic will premiere a new documentary series on National Geographic Channel called The Big Picture with Cal Penn. Penn, an actor, Stanford grad, and former associate director of the White House Office of Public Engagement, crunches data in this new series. And tonight, that data brings him to Vermont, where the data shows an 800% increase in drug abuse in the state. WPTZ's Vanessa Mashanya spoke to law enforcement today about the conclusions drawn in this hyperactive half hour. Vanessa joins us live in the newsroom. Hey, George, well, nearly a year to the day that that infamous Rolling Stone issue featured a maple syruper shooting up heroin hit newsstands, now a national cable channel will feature Vermont's drug problem, and that's tonight. Law enforcement and recovery centers are now weighing in on whether or not this attention is warranted. But if we are number one, I'm not surprised. Detective John Merrigan of the Vermont State Police knows how pervasive the state's drug problem is. He says on most every main street, opiates are present. It's not new information, but it's receiving new nationwide attention. You know, you can twist stats different ways, but uh, uh, it's pretty well accepted that Vermont has the highest per capita opiate abuse in the country. It's the United States of drug abuse. An episode of The Big Picture premiering Monday night on the National Geographic Channel calls Vermont the most drug-infested state and the most drug-infested country. Merrigan agrees, saying that as the demand becomes greater in the state, more users become dealers, creating more ways for addicts to get their fix. You become a heroin addict, you're going to have to sell heroin or move heroin to support that habit. So it it provides its own infrastructure as the problem develops. In a small state that's better known for dairy farms and the $2 million of heroin that comes into it every week, to outsiders, it's shocking. We have a huge issue here. It isn't shocking to Gary DeCarlis, executive director of the Turning Point Recovery Center. But he says since Vermont's heroin problem made national headlines in the Rolling Stone last year, the way the state's combating the problem is improving. With the governor and legislature's help from last year, we've begun to address it in a very dynamic way. From state support for centers like Turning Point to investing in education and stepped up law enforcing, DeCarla says Vermont is getting better, but there is more to do. We need the capacities in our residential treatment programs so that they can never say, we're full, you're going to have to wait. And we hear that a lot, and that's not okay. But as the attention is on the Green Mountains, it's an opportunity for Vermont to become a national role model in tackling the scourge. We're, in, we're a good sized state to fix this, and there's a lot of good people that are trying very hard to do that. The show called The Big Picture with Cal Penn airs tonight at 9 p.m. on Nat Geo. Live in the newsroom, Vanessa Mashania, WPTZ News Channel 5.